And yeah, I think that's the case everywhere. It's about who needs Jensen and who doesn't. If you need Jensen, you're in trouble and you're worried about allocation. If you don't need Jensen, then, well, you're probably in a pretty good position. Hoan doesn't need Jensen. Wong doesn't have to do anything to win Blackwell over. But David, we can't stop thinking about the brief article you printed yesterday in which Larry Allison discussed the necessity for Wong to make amends. That is the true topic of conversation. Oracles they got it right with Jensen Ellison, who is currently ranked second on the world's richest list and has risen from being a 2% grower to something far bigger. This dethrones Bezos. Reaching the end of dead zones through you well, wait a second, we didn't even talk about NVIDIA, I mean how can we we went for like, I don't know how many the NVIDIA partnership meaningful for anybody who has T-Mobile, absolutely you know we decided to announce today that we're putting a stake in the ground that the future of network architectures is called AirRAN, and we're partnering with NVIDIA with Nokia, with Ericsson, and others to bring the AirRAN future to reality now, it's going to take a few years okay, we're only halfway into this 5G revolution, it's been around 5 or 6 years, but we're now turning the page and starting to architect with our partners what future networks will look like to make sure everybody has a better signal in the meantime, I no longer have to give up on the Apple 16, it turns out it's doing better than, than we thought absolutely so I've got to ask doesn't this count as an important use case for AI last night, Mark Benny off the COO of Salesforce sat down with Jensen Wong the co of NVIDIA after inking a cooperation agreement and Jensen opined on the state of AI a field he practically created Jensen loved the Salesforce agent plan, believe me if he didn't like it, he wouldn't have shown up more important when Jensen talked about it. He he said, we haven't even scratched the surface of what we can be doing with artificial intelligence again. I think we're too downbeat about some parts of that heat to fall to the healthcare benefits that we've already experiencing right now, where AI platforms are helping to cure intractable diseases, Mark agreed and said, look at this. I think in the next 10 years, there will be so many scientific advancements. It doesn't matter that today is World Food Day, they will believe me. He also mentioned the advancements in digital biology and how they will help with illness diagnosis. Additionally, Mark talked for a while about how businesses have already invested billions of dollars and lost them building their own data centers using do-it-yourself software. He also made the comparison between Microsoft's Copilot and Clippy, the malicious digital assistant that was discontinued 20 years ago, which made people laugh. But Mark really means what he's saying here. Mark acknowledges that Microsoft dominates the market with Copilot and bemoans the fact that Jensen deals with everyone. Nevertheless, he has to ration his chips and shows no signs of slowing down. He sees only a pickup as far as the eye can see, which doesn't help that Nvidia's stock finished down 2%, but that didn't hurt him because he isn't focused on that right now. I buy both stocks here because the roles are frequently misunderstood. NVIDIA plans to create ever more powerful chips that can do unbelievable things. Given the usefulness of the technology, Jensen believes Salesforce will have billions of these AI agents. Mark Benf has added many excellent products over the years, but he seems most proud of this one thus far. It hasn't affected the stock because it's only been available for a short while, but a large number of companies at Dreamforce have already signed up for it. In the end, AI will be able to do many things. Many of the AI projects I've heard about seem like old, Luca-like ideas that would have been done anyhow, just under a different name. However, Mark's Agent Force seems like something really unique and very Luca for Salesforce and its clients. The Prime Minister is an amazing student, and every time I see him, he wants to learn about technology and artificial intelligence, its potential and opportunities for India, and its impact on the country's industry and society. I was thrilled to be here to discuss these topics. If the Fed hadn't had such a big meaning, I bet the stock would have increased. This is a fantastic opportunity because, as you may know, India is home to some of the best computer scientists in the world. Artificial intelligence is a nascent industry that holds great significance. To that end, I am eager to collaborate with India extensively to enable the growth of this industry. We currently have numerous partnerships with India including helping the country access our most advanced technologies, collaborating with internet companies such as Yoda and end-to-end -end networks, 
and building the newest generation of AI supercomputers in India for all of the startups. India is home to the world's third largest startup economy, and all of these new startups are based on artificial intelligence. To achieve this, you need to have artificial intelligence infrastructure, which is why we have so many partnerships throughout the country. Every IIT in the country has an NVIDIA AI Center of Excellence, and we are training professionals and students in this new realm of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, AI, has simplified many aspects of technology, but ultimately, it allows a nation to utilize computers in ways that were previously unattainable. As such, AI has truly democratized computing. This is India's moment to take advantage of this opportunity. The Prime Minister has been focusing on transforming the country with the Digital India Vision, which has pushed us to continue designing and manufacturing in India. We are proud to now produce our Pixel phones in India. He is genuinely considering how I can change India for the betterment of its citizens. He challenged us to think about applications in healthcare education agriculture, and he's also thinking about the infrastructure of India, the data center's power energy, and, and investing to make sure India can transition. And we are proud to be partnering with India. We we are robustly investing in AI in India. And now we look forward to doing more. We have Southeast several programs in partnership with Made the Agriculture and Health Ministries, the central and state governments. And we look forward to doing more in India. He has always challenged all of us to do more more for India. And uh, you know now he's asking us to do the same with AI. He has a clear vision, uh, both in terms of the opportunity that I will create, but he wants to make sure ultimately AI is there to benefit the people of India. And he has a clear vision that it should all be in the service of people of India. He's challenging us to do more. So people were saying he was too bullish last year. And here's what's happened over the last year. NVIDIA is the second best performer in the market up 167% on people at the start of this year in January. They said, okay, now they're going to rotate away from the AI darlings. We're going to do something else. It's eight months later. Guess what the number one performing stock of the year is NVIDIA is tied with Vista Corp. They're both up 136%. So at a certain point, NVIDIA can't be up 136% every single year. But this idea that we're all going to be smart enough to know when this is it, this is the top. And it's time to rotate out. It continues to fool people. NVIDIA continues to stay bid eye. I don't disagree that we're to finish the year strong, in fact. I think the S&P can finish the year at 6,000, and it's going to be driven by tech. I think what we're going to see coming out of these ray cuts, initial ray cuts, is some of that cyclical movement. But again, I do think in the next few weeks, I am a bit cautious, and I think if the market does pull back a little bit, it's going to be an opportunity. I mean with the Fed cutting rates, now everybody's talking about the SOM roll, how about October around the corner here when October's?